Hi everyone. This is a video about this Bluetooth 2.1 channel uh, amplifier that is 15 watts per channel and 30 watts for the base channel. And uh, I just uh, purchased this first of all because I couldn't find any videos about this unit in English and the second was I came across a project that I'm going to share with you that what I'm going to do with this and uh, in my next video I show you the whole project how I'm going to use this the name of this amplifier is TPA 3110D2 is 15 watts per channel and 30 watts for the base channel and the amplifier version is version 4 with a chip inside is CSR 8630 and the price of this item, let me just turn this light off. The price of this item is eleven ninety nine, uh, free shipping from China, and I have been waiting for this for a long time, and it's really good unit, but I strongly recommend before you use this unit you clean the board thoroughly as the board has lots of flux and grease over it so this is the unit it has the master volume it has the triple volume and the bass volume and it came like so plus this cable that is going to provide you with the connectivity to a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, for auxiliary connection as well as the Bluetooth it has some corks that I'm going to share with you but for the time being I have tested it first of all to see if it's good for my project and second uh, uh, to see if everything is good enough is in working order to just start my project so this this is the Bluetooth unit that is coming out and it has all the connectivities listed here and nothing on this side apart from these connections and the name of the Bluetooth itself and the Bluetooth uh, the cork about this Bluetooth is it doesn't talk to you it doesn't say anything it doesn't even make a note of connection or disconnection or ready to be paired or if the Bluetooth is paired with your device I have to get in touch with the seller maybe this is a little bit faulty but it works properly and the base is fantastic I must tell you I fully recommend this this is the same the amplifier in here is the same as what we had here in one of my video you saw this amplifier that is uh, just a stereo with uh, uh, 15 watts per channel and I think the model of this is TPA 3110 but this one is TPA 
3110D2 because it has 2.1 channel and when you this is the Bluetooth area that is the, here we have the different chip here and here is the amplifier uh, the chip for the amplifier and you see here we have two of these chips one is in here one is in here one in here is for left and right channel 15 watts per channel and here this is for the base channel and is using that chip over there that I'm going to show you what is the name of that chip and it's really good well made very compact the size it's it says 5.6 by 7.6 but if you look at the back when you connect it to your project uh, it's going to connect up to here because these are going to be sticking out of your project so it's 5.6 by 5.1 up to here it's very tiny and again I uh, because there wasn't any video there I selected this one uh, as it has the triple and base uh, uh, adjustability and the master volume and it has two lights there one is red uh, right one is red for the power inside indicator power and then the blue there for the Bluetooth and is as normal and the reason that I'm telling you when you purchase this clean the board properly if you can see the crease here is really full of flux here and there are some adjustment there that they have made uh, afterwards that I show you is really hard to see from here I took some images from this and I show you later but for the time being I show you the images that I have here and the images that I took let me turn this light off and this light off as well to show you a little bit better the chip and the grease over there let me see you can see the grease full of grease in there and a little bit is over here and this is one of the corks of this uh, we have a transistor here and a resistor 105 and a capacitor that this transistor is bridging over from one leg of the transistor to the capacitor I don't know if that's supposed to be like that and the empty areas here but it's in fully working order and then there is another uh, bridge over two legs of this chip and, uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that and also this one if you know more about this amplifier please let me know and then this is when the when you remove the Bluetooth this is exactly the same as this amplifier if you agree with me and then these two are the LEDs this is the power in the red and the blue for the Bluetooth and then the next image is the Bluetooth that I don't know if you can see the chip number let me see yes we can CSR 
Bluetooth 4 version and the rest I hope you can see them so this was the Bluetooth and this is the back of the Bluetooth that it shows you all the connectivities and then the next is the side view from this side as to show you the capacitors in there let me see if you can see any sort of it just says 25 volts WG I can't see the microfarad or the strength of this yeah, I'm afraid I can't because they are out of view and then this is the view from this angle and this chip I, I show you the chip in there that is for the base uh, harmonization and then this is the back of both of the Bluetooth and the unit. There are lots of oil in there, lots of grease. You better clean them. And the final one is this image. That it shows you this 105 resistor that is bridging over this transistor and that capacitor over there and then the bridge over the two first two legs of this chip over here and this is the chip for the uh, base unit that if we get out of here and we go to the uh, eBay listing of this item It shows you the chip everything here written is in Chinese and the voltage is 8 to 20 volts they say it's better to use 3 amps over 3 to 5 amp and the Bluetooth version here it says 4.1 but on on the chip it says 4 and then it shows this chip that is for the uh, base harmonization and is N5532 or C1RT uh, they are really proud of this because of the base and I have to tell you that the base is very good for the project that I'm trying to use and then I have purchased uh, two grills for the speakers that I am trying to use in this project. These grills price was three pounds and it's good looking and it's a little bit substantial. I used and I made these by myself but they are flexible so I was looking for something more rigid and I found these for three pounds and it came with eight black screws and the price of this unit as you may saw in the listing eBay listing is uh, 11.99 pounds uh, from China and uh, I have also purchased two speakers uh, that uh, is Sony speakers and this is the speaker 15 watts 6 ohms 15 watts speakers and this unit can run from 4 ohms up to 8 ohms speakers without any difficulties and this speaker is brilliant it's high quality and the price of this for a pair is seven pound fifty from China again 
and the delivery as you see is you know 15th of November if you order it today 30th of October to 15th of November and when they arrive you know uh, I'm going to sort out this project 2.1 uh, channel Bluetooth amplifier and the reason that I have another reason that I have purchased this uh, unit is because uh, I had a Sony TV that it has uh, 2.1 channel speakers amplifier speakers and I uh, got rid of the TV but I kept the base unit and it was so nice and good looking I thought okay let's make a project out of it so I have paid 11 pounds for this three pounds for the grills and seven pounds for the speakers in total 24 25 pounds randomly I have spent to make this project and this project is going to be soon as soon as I receive all the parts but first of all I wanted to introduce you to this Bluetooth 2.1 channel 15 watts per channel and 30 watts per base channel a speaker that is really really sounds really good I t tested it with different speakers and you can imagine with the new speakers that they are coming how better they uh, must be so this was a relatively long video about this TPA 3110D2 and a comparison to the original 3110 and see how it goes when the, uh, all the parts they are arriving and I sh share with you the sound quality and uh, how good this unit is but for the time being I fully recommend this and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time and thank you for watching.